itself, but I don't know if the game has that designed where they'll spin. I mean, there's clearly enough space for that. Those uh, rams in the center there don't affect the guns. I like how well the first and second height fit together. Like the barrels of the second gun kind of just rest on top of the top on the front one. Third one, not quite so much. There's a bit of a gap that's easily noticeable there. It's like the front two are like cuddle buddies. Cuddle buddy guns or something. Maybe I shouldn't call my guns cuddle buddies. Maybe they'll get... Maybe they don't appreciate my nickname of Cuddle Buddies. Did they spin? Nope, it's just a game thing. They just don't spin when they're side by side. Ow. You know what I should have done is put more AGS on it because I have so much space. Also, this mission sucks. It's not crazy bad, but it, it pretty much sucks, so... Look at that broadside. I'm not even sure it's firing all the guns. I think it is. It's hard to tell. It is, yep. More shells, but it does less damage, so I'm not... Per gun, though, and I have two extra guns, so I'm not sure what that balances out to. Someone would have to actually do the math for me. I don't... I don't math. Math brain hurt. Hello! Coming through! Big boat. That's a radar. That's a boat. That's some lag. That's still the radar. Lock onto the thing, please. Thank you. All dim guns. All dim missiles. All dim inabilities to turn. I'm attempting to turn. Really, really badly. Wall is a little bit violent, yeah. If I recall, he did that before and played World of Tanks and I think it aggravated Akasha. Possibly to the point where Akasha wanted to ban him, I'm not sure. Deck damage, if only I had planes that that would affect. That, however, I just got hit by a bunch of torpedoes, which is pretty bad. Because battleships don't take the torpedoes very well. And having a twin hole battleship right here is helping drastically. Mostly in the health department. Just saying, having extra health is kind of handy. Apparently I've successfully destroyed the enemy forces. You could have fooled me. I mean, really, you honestly could have fooled me. You really shouldn't park in front of this. Just saying. Where is Lady Akasha? Don't know. Alas, I am not Lady Akasha's keeper. I probably shouldn't have started that sentence with a last because it sounds creepy now. Sadly, I am not Lady Akasha's creeper. Or keeper. Creeper probably works in that statement as well. Funds, funds, funds. I probably missed a whole bunch of parts, but whatever. Look at all these Yamatos. Look at them all. They're everywhere. They're also being horribly murdered. I'm not sure why they're in this mission. They don't appear to have lasers, they appear to be Enemy using regular guns. Sunk. How's that working for you guys? Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy battleship I think I sunk a battleship. Probably your battleship. I may have sunk my battleship, I'm not entirely sure. It's a lot of dead boats. Now there needs to be a lot of dead uh, I-165 Kaidai Vs which are apparently everywhere. Did they put enough of these submarines on this map? It's a bit silly. Enemy ship sunk. Nope, that one. Does two of these Enemy kill it? Sunk. One kills it. Sometimes, Enemy maybe. One does seem to kill it, so... Enemy ship sunk. I am wasting ammo. That's laser. Light, damn it. I don't have time for your lasers. I probably should have time for your lasers, but whatever. I'll get to you in a moment. Be patient. I have things to collect. 61 centimeter guns seem to do half the damage of 80 centimeter guns. 
Uh, they do one fourth of a hundred centimeter guns. That doesn't sound right at all, because 80 centimeters is better than a hundred centimeter. I can't remember exactly why it's actually better, but I'm pretty darn certain that 100 or 80 centimeters is better than 100. Could be mistaken. I may have checked that when I didn't have the calibers all researched. Though. So 1861 centimeter guns probably do a little bit. Oh, you're counting the individual barrels. Okay. That's probably a better way to count it since 80 centimeter has two barrels and thus two shots. More barrels, less reload time. These things have the same reload time as the 80 centimeters. Better than 100, I think, though. And they are they're actually less accurate than the 80 centimeter. A Galahad? The heck is a Galahad? Obviously a plane, but... Sink 10 enemy subs. There's 6 there, so I'd get that. So the only thing really left is to destroy installations, so... Let's m make our way to the uh, dock here. I haven't repaired once this mission. I'm still above half health. Which is actually really good. Phew. Disappear. No? Wow. They didn't disappear at the ceiling. What is this magic? We have plus 12.5% damage over our previous setup. Thank you, Moomin, for the math. It's a very specific math, and probably unnecessarily so, but thank you. Much appreciated nonetheless. I killed a Toartica. Which I think Toarcticas are sub er, uh, anti-submarine, like torpedo launchers. Please leave other people out of your emotes. Please stop killing people. I have to drink something, so don't laser me. My throat, man, my throat. It's being worn out. Moomin is your new math teacher. Atayo. I haven't seen that before either. Didn't last very long, but, you know. It was there. It tried. Interestingly, I don't think tea actually helps my throat, unless it's warm, like hot kind of warm, not just like mildly room temperature warm. You have a question. Otherwise, I don't think it actually does anything for me. So I think it may make it worse, I'm not sure. You're a torpedo. Did I pick up parts? I saw parts over here when I wasn't paying attention. I guess I got it. There's a door. What is your question? Qu what is your question, good sir? Because I'll be here laser, not lasering, shooting these dock buildings for a while. What is over us? Galahads? Alright. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a UFO or something. Seriously, we're going to be here a while. Download the zip file of the International Zodiac Job System. Uh, well, the first step would be to unzip it, and then if you read the README that comes in the zip file, it'll tell you what you need to do. Basically, you need to put the English version and the International ISO in the folder, name them a specific thing, run the exe slash batch, whatever it is, and it'll do it for you. It's not a complicated thing. Don't baby dragons, you. Enigma take Enigma tech squiggle. I agree. I can cut. Ooh, nope, that's the wrong thing. Oh, that said auto. Oh, that's what I was getting excited about. But I thought it was the previous one, and then I got to say oh twice. Uh, you did, but I'm not sure I have the right stuff. You need both the English version of the game and the International Zodiac Job version of the game, as well as the English patch. Uh, it'll take the English ISO... Oh, Joe, too. It'll take the English ISO, rip files from it, and put them into the Japanese ISO, create a new one... Actually, I won't put it in the Japanese one. Basically, it merges the two. 
So it uses English files rather than actually translating stuff. I do wish to save. Also, we've become a monstrous powerhouse now, so... That one system, that's all it takes. All it takes, and now we're a monstrous powerhouse. Also, that's the thing where it shoots a laser beam and cuts the island in half, you know. Everyday stuff, cutting islands in half. You got the Zodiac job system ISO from the Pirate Bay. Easier to do. Yes, it's also illegal. And therefore irrelevant. Design. This. Change. Must put new system on it. Arg. That's the only uh, auto-reload system I actually care about at this point. Since I have three of them now, it's irrelevant. Where's it at? Auto reload system Y. 91% reloading efficiently. The only thing you could find was the English patch from the site you linked. Yes, it does not provide either version of the game. You have to actually provide the game yourself. It's 15 bucks on Amazon, apparently. Someone mentioned it last night. Jodiac? Was that what that was? I actually didn't bother to look at it. Probably could, but, you know. I don't care, I got an auto reload system, uh, why? I forgot what why is already. Yoda? I think. Yoda? I don't remember. You hit it, hate it when you press the spacebar as part of typing, then find I've selected the Twitch window. Pause the stream. I do that sometimes, too. You picked up the super weapon. Watch how fast we fire. Do you see why we've become a monstrous powerhouse of indestructibility now? Don't shoot at me. That's rude. Jeez. So now we don't even really need the twin hole battleship. <laughs> at this point, it's kind of irrelevant because we can do that. You think that was auto fire? Auto fire, gamma go. Yeah, I do that in Final Fantasy XIV too. Uh, I'll start sending a message to someone, and then suddenly I'll have every window open ever. Ooh, I shouldn't be going towards them. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what dude we were fighting. That's not what I wanted to shoot. I wanted to shoot that guy. So now we basically do that. Oh, parts. Oh, don't turn. Or should I turn? He's turning. Alright. I shouldn't be crossing in front of him at this Enemy distance. I shouldn't be even this close to him, quite frankly. But I think it's irrelevant, as long as he doesn't shoot me with a giant wave cannon. Major damage to enemy ship should be alright. Oh dear. Don't turn. Stop. Die. He's gonna miss anyway. Oh, I forgot you could do this. If you hit the gun... Someone someone said this uh, earlier, you hit the gun when it's charging, it'll actually cause a backfire and do like 30% damage. Yeah, that's the beam cannon that one-shots everything. It hurts a lot. Super weapon destroyed. Like a lot of pain. If it hits you, it'll either kill you or very nearly kill you. Also, yeah, cannons. Movie hacky sim hacker sim hacky hacky sacker simulator. There's a lot of boats around me. I don't know if I should bother killing them. I don't really feel like it. I won't get an S. I don't know what an S ranking is for this. Mission complete. Eh. Now, let's leave the area. Auto reload system also affects wave guns, so you can rapid fire wave guns, which you know. Who doesn't like rapid firing wave guns? Wa rapid firing wave guns. Yes. That is exactly this that is exactly the words I wish to come out of my mouth, brain. Azrox, don't care, it's all we got out of that. Hackertyper.com. Hooray, we blew up a boat. It's not actually over. In fact we haven't even done all of the EL1 missions, much less the EL2 ones. We're close to all of the EL1 missions.
Actually, I'm curious. Let me check how close we are. Because there's not many EL2 specific missions. We are three away. It's possible I'll finish today. Hopefully the recording's not broken, because this is going to be one massive long recording file. Hopefully the audio's all good and stuff. No one's complained, so... I'll assume it is, and we'll keep using the twin hull, because there's no reason not to, really, except for to turn fast. Hall and Moomin. Working together since, uh, All hands about 4.30 p.m., give or take. There's a Wyoming, and a Wyoming, and a Wyoming. There's several Wyomings. This is a mission you can actually farm because there's like six aircraft carriers and like four separate airfields. If you wanted to, uh, I'd recommend not. It's not the easiest mission to farm, but it does give a lot of funding if you can survive it. Just shoot in that direction, it'll be alright. Carpet bomb! Carpet bomb everything. This is the point where the game becomes slightly more of an ahistorical simulation of battleships. Just slightly more ahistorical, though. It's relatively close to what would actually happen if you let me build a boat. Relatively close. I don't think it's far off. Also, it affects the ram missiles, too. Which means the ram missiles are just blowing all of their ammo, which is basically a minor problem. I'm also on fire, that's a minor problem. Attention, Empire! You're doing it wrong. You need to have more battleships that can do this. You just want to play Final Fantasy XII? Well, don't you have the original game? Can't you play that? I didn't ever say the translation came with the game. That would be illegal. People who make these translations don't give you the game for a reason. Wah! Wah! 14 is really similar to 12, yeah. It's like 12 plus 2. It's really similar to 12 anyway, just to be honest. There's parts over there. There's also subs on this mission. I didn't realize that. May as well kill them since I can rapid fire missiles and stuff. Anyone else in the distance? You have some missiles. You! Have some missiles. I don't even know if I picked up the parts I came over here for. I think I may have just gone past it, I'm not sure. Parts. I like parts. You do not own any form of the game. Well, that's probably a good first step in playing the game, is to have some, you know, ownership of at least a version of the game. Ow. My missiles, my ram missiles are just going crazy. They're firing, like, several missiles a second. Probably several tens of missiles a second at this rate. Blowing up some boats. Setting dudes on fire. I'm still really tempted to change to Lava Fell, but... At the very least, I'll wait till I hit 50, finish the storyline and all that, because that's the character people made. So, you know, we'll hit 50, we'll finish the storyline, and then we'll see about changing it. We'll see. Because I want to be Lolico, because they're cute and stuff and whatnot. Excuse me. I'm not going to hang around and kill all this stuff here, by the way. Because I don't really want to, so... I keep hiccuping, though, that's a thing. I'm going to drink more tea, that'll solve the problem. I got an S anyway. You can't see the armor detail, yeah, but I don't really look at the armor anyway. And to be honest, most of it doesn't actually exist. It's, you know, like, you know, harnesses and bikinis and 
other crap. It gave me Railgun 3, which is completely and utterly worthless because I already have that. But I'm pretty sure I have infinite of that. I have more funding than the other save. Interesting. Much less parts, though. The other save definitely has more parts. Retreat to the north! Actually, hold on. Did we do this last time? We did, I just don't remember it. It's boss battle, apparently. And then 670, and then everything beyond 670 is EL2. The 50 stuff is nice? Eh. I probably still won't look at it. I like the uh, the crafting gear, sure, but don't really pay attention to it. I got my... well, I got most of my blacksmithing stuff high quality now. I've got the full outfit and everything, I just don't have some pieces high quality. I recorded the level 50 and 50 blacksmithing stuff. Oh, it's this mission, right. Which now features a line of boats in front of the super weapon. Can't, ow. Can't remember what they are, though. Powerful noise. Yes, it's a giant laser. Main objective what of it? I like the fog. It's battleships. It's a line of battleships in front of this thing. Guess how much I care. This would actually be an intimidating fight if I couldn't fire 700 shots a second. Otherwise, it's going to be really easy. Where did most of my shots go? There comes a giant volley. Where are my shots going? Are they disappearing? I don't know. My shots are disappearing, despite the fact I can lock onto it. Couldn't find at level 20 levs and gave up. The, uh... Mining level 20 levs should be where level 20 mining nodes are. Why can I not hit that? I don't know, but I need to start moving. I guess I was just so far away I couldn't shoot it. Now that I've wasted all that time and I've died of these battleships. Or this laser that's about to shoot me. Probably the laser. Surprisingly not the laser. <laughs> Don't mind the laser that just took up the whole screen. How's it going, buddy? Moderate damage. I should have shot those battleships first. Because now I'm going to sit here and get Moderate shot damage. by... Damage yep, severe. torpedoes. Mission Spoiler! Failed. Torpedoes hurt battleships a lot. Like, quadruple damage a lot. That's just a thing. That's how that works. Let's try that again and actually shoot the uh, battleships. I thought I could hit the super weapon from there because I could lock onto it, but... Apparently not. So instead we'll do this. Fire in all the bullets. I wonder if these battleships move or if they just kind of sit there until you get close and then move. Those are disappearing too. Fantastic. I'm glad I can lock onto things this far away. Basically, I did no damage. Light damage. These dudes hurt. I don't approve of that. Moderate I don't care about the planes, Enemy which the super weapon launches, by the way. The super weapon has four airfields, I think, on it. Enemy but the lasers, man, the lasers. They hurt. Enemy also, have you seen the level 50 mining gear? It looks really cool. You got like your little headlamp, and you got this massive pickaxe with like a hammer on the other side of it for some reason. It looks really cool. They do move. And oh my god, there's a million things on this map. Like that's an excessively high amount of boats on this map. I'm not sure I approve of this. Yeah, the lamp turns on too, which is really cool. I'm aiming for these parts. I need to kill these submarines, too. Apparently, they're launching missiles at me. I don't really care if they launch torpedoes, but missiles, I do. They hurt. I'm blowing through so much ammunition. Hooray! Oh, yeah, Get Dave's doing, uh... 
in this space. Which apparently has caused Moomin to install a mostly unrelated game. Interesting to know. Does one missile blow up those? I don't know. We're about to find out. No, it doesn't. So I'll just launch a bunch. There we go. Problem solved. Reinforcements spotted by the super weapon. I can't see. <laughs> However, the laptops that New Egg sells, they're exactly the same as the laptops uh, Best Buy sells. Doesn't really matter who sells the laptops. It is irrelevant. It's a lot of destroyers suddenly. Where'd all you guys come from? How you doing, Somers, apparently? I haven't even gotten to the super weapon yet, and I've taken massive damage and blown up a lot of boats. Like, large quantities of destruction has occurred so far. I don't think Newegg even makes uh, laptops. Newegg isn't available where you are. Uh, are you in Europe, Sir Mooms? Because it's in Canada and the U.S., I believe, is where New Egg is available. Kite-like objects. Apparently the super weapon got tired of waiting for me. Can it shoot this far? It's certainly charging. It's risen. It can shoot this far. Oh dear. Ow. <laughs> I hate doing this boss with a slow boat. And by slow, I mean like less than 70 or doesn't have a forward thruster. Ow. Because it's like impossible to dodge the thing's laser unless you get really lucky with the pattern. Like right here. See if I can get it to. Nope, not even close. Waves are going up and down. You're in the British Isles. Oh. And now I need to get really close to it. I could pull this maneuver and then curve. That. That's a possible way to dodge it. Although it's not always good. The waves, man. The waves. We've succeeded in destroying a doodad. I don't really care about the doodads. I want to blow up the giant freaking laser beam. I don't think this is going to work in the manner I want it to. Ooh, barely. This is probably one of the more difficult bosses. If you haven't noticed, it's pretty darn powerful. Also, I'm blowing up the support when I don't want to. Hooray! Please die before you shoot a laser again. Thank you. That took long enough. Jeez. I didn't even... It took long just to get to it. Much less kill the thing. All of the phalanx cannons. The waves. The waves are going crazy. What's going on here? can't see through the smoke and the waves are freaking out. I'm not sure what's happening. Seriously, waves. Chill out. What? Oh, that was all the... Th I was like, what was that sound? It was all the panels dying. I thought we were being attacked by a flying saucer or something. Don't shoot torpedoes at me. Thank you. Hooray! We've killed dudes! I was curious what an ash rank on this would give. Yes, yeah, this is a this is a serious business simulation of boats. Don't mind the fact that I can shoot off cannons like this. Just ignore that. Hey, when you first start playing it, it's fairly realistic. Just the further in you get, the less realistic it gets. We're pretty far in. Just saying. I'm tempted to put the 80 centimeters back on it, but I don't know. Tended to put 100 centimeters on it. 
But I don't know if they'll rotate. They are individual guns, I think. They may not be. Realistic Simulation 2013. Blow that guy up. Enemy reinforcements spotted. 